let's now learn how to make a growth and shrinking potion in Roblox. We're going to go to our workspace. We're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to select mesh part. If you don't see mesh part in the drop down, you can select mesh part in the search box over here. Otherwise, just select mesh part. I'm going to bring my mesh part over here and rename it to potion. With the potion selected, go to the properties window. You're going to see there are two different properties that we want to change. The first one is going to be the mesh ID and the second one is going to be the texture ID. Let's first change the mesh ID. So we're going to go to our toolbox. We're going to search for a mesh for our mesh part. In the search box, just enter potion because that's what we're making, a potion bottle. I'm just going to select the first one here. So right click and copy mesh ID. Come back over here. Click on the mesh ID and control V to paste it in. Hit enter. You can see now my, my mesh part has changed. The shape has changed into a potion. Let me move closer so you can see it better. And there it is. Next thing I want to do is I want to check the size of my potion here. So what the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my avatar menu tab and I'm going to click on Rig Builder. I'm going to bring in my own avatar, right? So this is a regular player right here. You can see the potion bottle is very small compared to a regular player. So now we're going to resize our potion bottle. We're going to make it a little longer, a little wider. The other thing that we need to do is to give this a texture. So again, we have the texture ID here. We're going to go back to the toolbox. And now we're going to search for an image for our texture. So we're looking for any image. You can pick any image you want. Um, how about I'm going to pick this red potion right here. So I'm going to right click and copy asset ID. Come back over here to the texture ID property. Click on that, paste it in, hit enter. And now let me put my potion bottle in focus so we can see it. That's how it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty nice. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a touch event to this potion bottle. So go to your potion bottle, click on the plus sign, add a script. Let me close this window over here. And inside your script, just enter the following lines. So basically, again, here we have a touch event and we're checking for a player that is touching this potion bottle. You can refer to our prior tutorial for more details on how all these work. So as soon as a player touches this potion bottle, we're destroying this potion bottle. We, we're deleting it. We're removing it. And to make this into a growth potion, we need to increase the size of the character that touches this bottle. To do that, we're going to go to our character. The character is other part dot parent. So we're going to start with that. We're going to say other part dot parent. And we're going to use the scale to function to make our character bigger. So here we have colon scale two. In here, we're going to specify how big we want to scale this character. So I want it to be twice the current size. We put a two in here to make it double the size. Now let's play test and take a look. Let me look for my potion bottle. And there it is right next to my dummy character. And now if I go and touch it, you can see I'm twice the size that I used to be. Let's go back to the script. In order to make this into a shrinking potion instead of a growth potion, instead of the size we multiply by 2, we're going to multiply by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is going to make your character, the new character, half the size of the original character. Let's play test and take a look. And Basically, this is going to turn it into a shrinking potion. I'm going to go and grab the potion bottle. And you can see now I'm half the size that I was.